okay good day students uh today i did a video about simple spreadsheet functions i left out a few of them that i wanted to include didn't want to leave them out just like that because the truth is you're going to need to know these things as well all right and just a few other tips and so on things that you may want to know all right let me get to a fresh sheet i have one here let me get rid of this data that's here all right now here are a few things that you may need to know all right zooms out a bit so i have some space now when we're writing formulas and functions there's a way we can replicate the data again it's simple we're going to go into this in our next video this part was really geared for that but let me just introduce it to you right now there's a a, a feature called autofill let's say i put friday here Turn up the caps lock let's put i put friday there's certain things that follow a particular sequence that the computer the spreadsheet is designed to work with if i pull use the fill handle right here, this little broken part right here you see perfect edges right here here and here but at the bottom right hand corner you see a little broken part when you point on it the mouse pointer changes to a thin well a black cross not really so thin but you can pull to the right and it fills in for you saturday sunday monday if you pull down likewise but if you pull upward it fills in reverse order or if you pull to the left that will be friday then thursday then wednesday then tuesday and so on the autofill feature that's something that this comes in handy when you're using spreadsheets because you know from time to time you may want to save yourself writing a formula or a function over again um these are things that i figure you pick up on for example pointing directly between the column labels as in a b c d and so forth directly between between them on the lines change to a cross arrow pointing left and right you can widen the column or narrow it or you can increase the height of rows as well but the arrows point across again the arrows point up and down so you need to pay attention to your mouse pointer the shape it has the shape it has gives you a good indication of what it is going to do analogy an analogy right here let's say i highlight this this data right here thin black cross i can select my text when i highlight them if you notice the first cell never appears to be highlighted i can point at the edge right here and drag it this any way i want it to another way of kind of copy and pasting also in a copy and piece cut and pasting you're moving the data from one point to another there's this as well if your cell address if your column is too narrow it will appear let me just put a function here exam just add something if your column is too narrow you'll see this dollar sign looking thing look like a picket fence all right dollar signs or hashes hashtags that you may call them when you see these symbols, it basically means that there is a number in the column, but the column is too narrow. So you can double click to widen it, it will automatically widen the longest entry. Or you can simply just point up here, we have the cross pointing left and right and pull out. The formatting and so on is not something I really want to teach because I, one, I believe it is simple. You know, and I believe that teachers do deliver this in their in their spreadsheet content. So it hardly makes sense spending time teaching it. If I double click up here, it automatically narrows to fit the longest entry, as what I'm doing now. All right. Or widens as the case may be. But that is not why I'm here right now. There are a few things I want to show you. For example, there are some other functions we can use. For example, what if you want to find out the square root of a hundred? All I need to do is here go equal SQRT open bracket and that square root and click on the cell. I don't even have to close the bracket. I press enter and that's it. So 10 times 10 is 100. The square root of 100 is 10. Basically, that's what we're saying. All right. If you want, for example, let's say this 10, you want it raised to the power of 3. So we write equal. And then power spell out the whole word power open bracket we can click on the cell um and then comma 
unless I want to reach the power of three, then put the three there. We can close the brackets if we so choose, and then we get a thousand. So this is another. These are other functions that we can use: square root, and we can use powers as well. Other spreadsheet functions. But there is something else I want you to remember. We looked at functions not too long ago, and functions wherein we just use some count, max, min, average, and so on. But what if you had this challenge? Let me use this function here. Equal average. I'll go here just for speed. All right. And here is what we have 90.56. What if I wanted to do the same thing? I want to do the same thing, but we're playing a game. I can't use the word average. How do I write this function? All right. Here's another way you can write this function. Equal sum, open bracket, C2 colon C10. Right? Close the bracket. Divided by count, open bracket, C2 colon C10. Alright? So I'm using two functions together. C sum, C2 to the C10. So in other words, add this range. And then, after you add it, then divide whatever you got as the answer by the amount of numbers were there. Hence, how we use count. We should get the same answer. And the same answer we got indeed. This is the function that we wrote to the average. Because we know when we're using averages, we're doing two calculations. Primarily, we're doing additions first, then division. And then here is the actual average function. All right? So these are functions. Yes, they are not formula. A formula for this, uh, let me humor you and let me write the formula. All that I plan to do is next class, but since we're talking about it, because this is important for your exam, you have to know the difference between formula and function. So a formula would do something like this equal um, C2 plus C3 plus C4 plus C5 plus C6 plus C7, or 7, sorry, plus C8, plus, oops, plus C9, plus C10. All right, and then I said divide by, how many that would be done? But 9, divide by 9. Is that correct? Is this correct? Does this actually give, will this actually give me the average? Let's try that out. 927.7. That's not correct. Because we know this, when we're calculating averages, the number, that whatever answer we get, should never be higher than the highest number. 100 is the highest number. It can't be higher than that. Nor can it be lower than the lowest number. And the lowest number we have here is 71, it appears. So it cannot be. So let us put these in brackets so we know that the order of operations. We are, we are going to add, then we divide by 9. Let's put this in brackets and let's see. Hopefully we get the same answer and I didn't leave anything out. 90.56. So these two are, let me, let me do it this way. Control tilde. These two here, these were functions. This here at the bottom is a formula. Formulas really would have mainly operations to add, sub subtract, divide. Yes, even though... This we were actually, we actually put the divide sign there, yes, but it's still a function. All right, so I want to make sure I put that distinction there. What is my logic here? To show you that you can combine functions. You don't have to use one function by itself. You can combine them. And if you look at the spreadsheet up here, for example, you, let me get out of that, function, you most recently used. Let's select all. These are all the functions you have. Let me use my arrow key, not even use my mouse. Let me use my arrow key. These are all the functions you have at your disposal in Excel. There are a lot of them. And imagine you can combine functions together as we just did. I'd estimate that right now, that's probably over 200 functions right there. All right. So I'm saying that, guys. Do not be afraid to explore the possibilities because the truth is you are not just learning spreadsheet to pass an exam. These are actual employable skills you need. 
to work or to be employed out there. So let me narrow this column again. So there, here are different ways we can calculate average. All right, we can combine functions. In the case here, we add, then we divide using the count function. Sum to add, then count to divide. Of course, we have the typical average function. And then we can use a formula. All right, you have an idea of square root and so on. But here are a couple others that are just by the way that you might want to pick up. For example, equal today, equal today, open and close bracket, gives you the current system date, not today's date, but the date that's on the computer system. The computer has no idea of knowing what day today is. It just works with the date that it has. Predisposed to it, or programmed from in the, don't want to get too technical, but in the BIOS, system BIOS, all right? Equal, no, open and close bracket, that gives you the current system date and the time. It's now 10 minutes after 6. So these are various functions that we can use, guys. Just remember them. So I'm just doing them and putting them in. So you have them or you are aware of them. Next time we meet up, we're going to look more at formula, not functions, formula. So I'm finished with functions now. We'll look at formula. But we're going to come back to more complicated functions um, in the third video. More dealing with like rank, count if, sum if. And then we leave it there. And then we'll come back with if and VLOOKUP. Making sure we compare the two. And we might do even nested ifs as well. Those are challenging for students and so on. So we look at those three. And then after that, we would have been wrapping up after that. We do pivot tables and so on and start to wrap it up, all right? So this is just a general idea, guys. Don't be afraid to try and explore. Don't be afraid to stand out with your knowledge. Don't be afraid to acquire the knowledge and practice and stand out, all right? Don't be afraid to know, all right? So that's it, guys. Have a good day.